All right, there's been some questions on how to take temperatures of molten metal. So I'm gonna give you guys the lowdown on my parameter. All right, starting out, this is an eight inch Mythco replacement type K thermocouple. It's good up to 2300 degrees Fahrenheit. So you can do brass, bronze, and aluminum. All I've done to mount it is I've slid a piece of half inch electrical conduit Put the thermal couple up in it with the wires passing through the whole thermal through the whole conduit and clamped it in place with a half inch hose clamp. Real simple. All right. Now it's mounted on about four foot of half inch conduit that goes down to a simple handy box. All right. I've wired this hand, I've used the receptacle in here to help me wire it. All right. The yellow wire that comes from the thermal couple attaches to the black wire that goes to my uh, meter. And the opposite side is red to white. All right. Now, this is our thermal couple color coding. Remember those colors, do them, because I had to look all over the internet to find that info. And I just close this up, put a cover on it, and it becomes my handle. Now, what I read the temperature on, this is uh, Harbor Freight, you can see the number right there, P37772. It comes with its own thermocouple. All I did is use this for the plug, so it plugs in here. This is where it plugs in. All right, see right now, now this is in centigrade, so you have to get yourself a conversion chart if you like to read in Fahrenheit. But right now, outside here at my house, it's 22 degrees. All right. This meter is $29. The Mythco thermocouple is $63. All right. So this whole rig is right around $100. You always want that thermocouple hanging downhill. So this is the way it should be stored. Get yourself some hooks or some racks. Always store it like this to where that thermocouple faces down. In the 11 years I've been casting here at home, mostly brass, this is my second thermocouple. People that are going through thermocouples are either using them on cast iron, they're not rated that high, or they're storing them very badly. All right. If you have any questions, let me know. I'll be happy to answer.